Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can open up a script in your Roblox project. Now scripting is a big topic and a complex one, but I just want to cover it in a really basic kind of manner for all of you beginners out there. So first thing that you might be confused of, if you go to view and you look for some kind of scripting tab or window, you won't find it. Why? Because you need to create scripts that are basically connected to your objects or elements or parts in the same level. Now, some of these are related to scripts like script performance, for example, but they are or script analysis, but they are not scripting as is. So to do that, we're going to to create a script, open a script, we're going to add a part, first of all. So we have a part that is in our workspace here and now we need to add a script to it and you do that by clicking this plus button near the part and go for script. If you do, you'll have several options, script and local script. This often confuses players or developers as well. The basic explanation is that script is working for everyone in a game or on a server while local script is basically stored on your computer. Now this is a super simplified solution and explanation, but it basically holds true. So we're going to make or click on a script and this is how the scripting window opens up. We have a script and now we can edit it. And for this moment, when we go to play, nothing is basically happening because our script is just this print hello world but it's not printing because we're not doing anything so we're going to stop and we're going to add a really simple script here which i'm going to simply copy and paste there's an explanation of what everything does but it's basically a script that allows players to click on an object and turn it red here are the explanations. These double dashes are basically comments. I'm going to keep the script in the description below so you can use it yourself if you want to kind of examine it. But the idea is that now once in the game, once the players click on this part, it's going to turn red. So let's see it in action. Here am I. And as you can see, it's recognizing the object as something that is clickable. The cursor is changing. Once I click it, it's turning red. Once I click it again, nothing is happening because I already kind of did that single part that is the whole script but the script is still there and it's still in my workspace when i stop the game go back it's still under the part and you can close it up but once you want to edit it you simply double click on it and the scripting tab or window will reappear very simple very easy to understand that's how you open a script and open scripts and hopefully this tutorial was useful. It started to kind of give you insight into the world of scripting, which again is much more complex than this, but this should be useful, hopefully to you. Thanks again for being here. My name is Ivica. Check out if you'd like to support me means to do that. You can check out and become a patron of mine. The patron link is in the description below. You can check out my channel memberships. You can check out my books on Amazon, but of course the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, simply subscribe. Leave a like on this but video and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures. And I'll see you on my next clip. Until then, bye bye.